started off as DVA training back in 1999 and we used to hire little recording studios and put young people into these recording studios and just teach courses on how to get them ready to make some music and maybe perform live. Just literally had 20 learners. The first lesson we ever did, I remember walking into that room and I was there to try and take this group of young people and show them how to put their own event on. It kind of came together in a very unplanned kind of way, but that first course was what we're all about really. BCU 20 years later is taking someone from industry or someone who's got industry experience and just throwing it into a classroom setting and you know the best way to learn from the creative industry is from people that are doing it. Initially I thought that like, DV8 was just going to be like college. They allowed me to be an individual. They were teachers but they were also actively working in the creative industry. So not only was I getting the appropriate training and skills, I was also networking with people that were based in the industry. It's a beacon of hope for a lot of young people that are failed by the education system. I really learned a lot from kind of being in that space. If I hadn't studied here, I don't know what I'd be doing. BCE has given hard to reach young people a second chance, as cliche as it sounds. They feel listened to, they feel cared for, they're doing something that they love. It just shows them that there is definitely a direct route from education straight into the workplace, straight into the industry that they may have thought was unaccessible. Big Creative Education is about developing talent, it's about transforming lives and creating careers and those three ingredients when you put them together is what makes the difference. We're more than just qualifications, we immerse you in a whole creative experience. I would say my most memorable moment was the first showcase that we did. I think it was called East Side Stories and we had Chipmunk, we had Wretch, we had Bashy, we had Getz. I just remember that energy of like the audience in Stratford Circus of my peers going absolutely bonkers. So I remember a live broadcast with Radio 1 Extra and they brought in Tim Westwood, Tinchy Strider, Maverick Sabre. All the students were live on air, some of them got a chance to rap and get feedback. We got to see a live broadcast in action at 6.30 in the morning. My most memorable moment in those 20 years has to be the day that we surprised the students with a visit from Stormzy. It was just the most incredible moment when he walked out of a back room into the common room and all of a sudden there was this buzz went round the room and they realised who was there. He did a really powerful assembly and then he organised two coaches for all the students, go to a secret gig that evening, a full-on production. It was so great to just make stuff that is really fun to create and seeing the great outcomes that learners have created over the years. 20 years of BCE for me is 20 years of bespoke learning and giving kids opportunities that they may not have had. You come out and there's learners playing music on the decks upstairs, there's people rapping in the corridor, there's dance students practicing routines out there and it's so unique because you wouldn't get that anywhere else. We don't just give you a qualification, we shape you and mould you. And no matter what your starting point is, you can find a really positive education experience